Hi, this is Brian Farrell with Aqueous Solutions LLC, makers of the Geochemist Workbench. Today, I'd like to show you the results of a reactive transport model made with X2T. In the simulation, three heavy metals leak into an aquifer for 10 years. At that time, the source is controlled and an extraction well begins pumping contaminated water from the site. The metals react to form surface complexes with iron oxyhydroxides in the aquifer. The strength absorption affects the mobility of each heavy metal. The first animation shows the transport of the bromide ion, a non-reactive tracer. Since it doesn't sorb according to our model, bromide travels at the same velocity as the groundwater, and after 40 years of pumping, most of it has exited the domain. Next, we'll look at zinc, which sorbs very weakly to the iron minerals in the aquifer. Since it is retarded only very slightly, its mobility is similar to that of bromide. After four years of pumping, most of the zinc-contaminated water has successfully been removed from the aquifer. Lead sorbs more strongly than zinc, but not as strongly as mercury, which we'll soon see. Its mobility is retarded somewhat, but very little ends up leaving the domain through the remediation well. The majority of the aquifer, as a result, is highly contaminated at the end of the simulation. Finally, we'll look at mercury. Mercury sorbs so strongly that it has barely moved to the aquifer after 50 years. The areas immediately downstream of the leak remain highly contaminated, but the majority of the do domain remains unaffected. It's important to remember that sorption can be both beneficial and detrimental to environmental remediation. Thanks for watching our video on surface complexation.